Hi, Tom and Ben. It's Grandma. It's story time again. And I've got a really special story for you today. Um, this is one that I used to read to Aunt Callie. And so I know she loved the story, and it was a lot of fun. This story is called One Hungry Monster. Hey! This is going to be fun! Are you ready to hear it? This is a counting book. All right. One hungry monster underneath my bed, moaning and groaning and begging to be fed. Two hungry monsters at my closet door, chewing up my sneakers, asking me for more. Three hungry monsters in the upstairs hall, Lick the flower painting hanging on the wall. Four hungry monsters round my daddy's head, sniffing out the crackers he'd eaten in his bed. <laughs> Five hungry monsters sliding down the rail, munching and crunching on one another's tail. Six hungry monsters underneath the rug, Tracking down some footprints to catch a tasty bug. Ugh. Seven hungry monsters round our TV screen, drooling at commercials for sauerkraut and beans. Eight hungry monsters on the chandelier swear they haven't eaten for maybe 20 years. Nine hungry monsters wearing roller skates hunting through the kitchen for knives and forks and plates. Ten hungry monsters about to fuss and kick. Won't get out, they tell me, unless I feed them quick. So, I bring out one jug of apple juice, two loaves of bread, three bowls of spaghetti that they dump upon my head, four purple eggplants, five pickled pears, Six orange pumpkins, they climb up and down like stairs. Seven roasted turkeys, eight pizza pies, nine watermelons that they wish were twice the size. Ten jars of peanut butter, but not a speck of jam. Cause I want every monster mouth to shut tighter than a clam. <laughs> they gargle with some apple juice then shower with the rest. They pinch the bread to breadcrumbs and won't clean up their mess. They braid spaghetti into wigs and eat the eggplants whole and learn that pickled pears won't bounce and neither will they roll. They wear the pumpkin tops as hats and dream of pumpkin pie. They argue over wishbones and pick the turkeys dry. They toss the pizzas back and forth like frisbees through the air, then spit out sticky melon seeds that land right in my hair. They paint the peanut butter like lipstick on their mouths, then stamp their feet and boldly say, what else is in this house? Get out! Get out! I loudly shout. You've made a mess and then no less you ate my food and were quite rude. You put me in a nasty mood. You are so bad it makes me mad. It makes me want to squirm and twist to make a face and shake my fist. To stamp the floor and kick the door and then to do it all once more. And so, without a single doubt, I tell you now, get out! Get out! Ten sorry monsters creeping one by one climb into the chimney and now my job is done. Then from behind the toaster, my secret hiding spot, I take an apple muffin the monsters never got. The end. Hope you like that one. You'll have to share it with your Aunt Callie. See you later next time. Bye. Bye, you guys. Love you both. See you soon.